Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of art from the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday at 10 a.m., a staff member or a volunteer will share an object from the permanent collection and post some questions for discussion. Check back at 10 a.m. each weekday for a new work and a new conversation. I'm Carrie Atkins Maris. I'm the Associate Director for Community Engagement at the Cincinnati Art Museum, and today we're going to be looking at a very seasonal series of etchings by artist Edward Timothy Hurley. Hurley is one of those artists that is locally very well known. He painted one of the most popular paintings in the museum, Midnight Mass. This painting is one of the few commemorated in ornament form, and it hangs with the giants Van Gogh and Miro on the gift shop Christmas trees, even though it was painted by a relatively minor local artist. So who is this guy? Hurley was born in northern Kentucky in the Cincinnati region, and like so many artists we've talked about, was noted as having an early aptitude for art. He said he began scratching or etching with sticks on slate found around his yard growing up. Eventually, his work caught the eye of Frank Duvenac, who became his teacher and mentor. Hurley was about 20 years younger than Duvenac, so he wasn't part of the group usually referred to as, quote, the Duvenac boys, but he followed a similar path. He attended the art academy, focusing on etching, but also took a job at Rookwood Pottery, remaining there as a decorator for 50 years. At Rookwood, we see a variety of his work, and if we look, we can see some strings that thread his work together in style and approach. His work has an interesting combination of line work, which could be the printmaker in him, and atmospheric color, which he seems to first capture in glaze and then approach similarly in paintings like Midnight Mass. Our focus today is on an etching. This is one of a series, a yearly tradition Hurley had of creating an etching for his Christmas cards. This one reflects a combination of styles that I see as uniquely Hurley's, beautiful line work and a strong sense of atmosphere. I also really like the hand lettering Hurley does in these. It's a fun insight we don't usually get to see in artists' work. Hurley died in Cincinnati in 1950, his last known work being his Christmas card from that year. At the time he lived in Walnut Hills, within walking distance of the Art Museum and Rookwood Pottery, we are lucky to have quite a bit of his work in the collection at the Art Museum. And you can find out more about him and his work by visiting the website and looking him up. These Christmas card etchings gave me a solid dose of holiday cheer this year, and I hope that they have done the same for you.